Hi, my name is Martin. I have a master's degree in physics and nanotechnology from the Technical University of Denmark. And I specialize in the LED technology used in light therapy devices. Today, we will take a closer look at the Optosotics light technology device. The device flashes at 40 hertz. In other words, 40 times a second. But what exactly is flashing light? Let's examine this more closely. Overall, there are two types of flashing light. Light that flashes in brightness and light that flashes in color. Light that flashes in brightness looks like this. We call this type of light stroboscopic light. The light alternates between being on and off, then on, then off and so forth, as you can see in this drawing here. Okay, but what about color flashing? What does that look like? It appears like this. Here it flashes between two different colors of white, which can also be seen in this drawing here. But the question remains, how fast should the light flash so that one can no longer perceive it as flashing? For stroboscopic light, the light must flash more than 50 times a second for one not to see it as flashing anymore. However, with frequencies below 50 Hz, it can be seen as flashing. And stroboscopic light that is perceived as flashing can cause side effects such as dizziness, migraine, nausea, and even photosensitive epilepsy. But what about color flashing? If we make light flash between two colors that are not that different from each other, light will no longer be perceived as flashing at 35 hertz. At Optosotics, in their light technology device, two shades of white is used. These two types of white are similar enough that the flashing becomes almost undetectable to the human eye at 40 hertz, while still delivering the intended stimulus of the brain. And that is really smart. So to sum up, Stroboscopic light at 40 Hz can cause negative side effects such as dizziness, nausea, migraines and photosensitive epilepsy. Whereas flashing between two similar colors is not perceived as flashing at 40 Hz per second. And in this way it is possible to look directly at the light for longer periods of time without experiencing any of these negative side effects. And also the light is just super comfortable to look at. And that is insanely exciting.